Okay, let's just see what little Lord Winklebottom is all about. Well, let's also adjust the audio. And the music. Very sensitive. I'll give it that. Uh, yeah, that works. <laughs> oh my god, it's good writing. So the axolotl is the murder victim. That's a rhino, and a couple of bars of a taxi, maybe. Well then, Fumble, that was quite the case, wasn't it? Oh, indeed so. Already made the evening edition, don't you know? I picked up a copy when oh I my God. the boat ticket. We'll be quite the heroes, I think. <laughs> Hopefully they don't oh my goodness, the what is the this? Weasel gang cracked you over the head with a pool cue and nearly made off with all the gold, eh? Huh. Wretched blighter caught me from behind. Just not cricket, is it? Still, all worked out in the end, my friend, and just in time too, as you have this party with Admiral Guilfrey to attend. Look, who is this chap anyway, Winklebottom? Oh, Guilfrey's an old school friend of mine, top of his class, went on to become an admiral, then latterly undertook a number of privately funded expeditions to all four corners of the globe. Bit of a swat then, eh? Uh -huh. There's yeah, no time for this sort at my school. <laughs> Evidently so, my friend. Right, let's get this boat ticket and be on our way. Where is the ticket anyway, Frumple? Oh, I slipped it into the newspaper for safekeeping. Winklebottom cracks the case. A touch sensational, but they appear to have got most of the salient facts correct. Never mind all that. What do they say about me? Ah, well, let me about see. About Dr. Yes, Frumple? Here it is. Lord Does it matter? was assisted, as ever, by his associate, Mr. Frumple. Mr.? Dash it all, I didn't spend eight years in medical school to be called Mr. Bunch of bloody hacks. Well, never mind that now, old boy. We have to get going if we catch this boat before nightfall. No, no, I'm quite vexed now. I shan't leave until I've had a fresh cup of tea to calm me down. This one's practically tepid. Oh, very well. I'll make you a fresh cup. The pot should be ready now. Ah, here's a ticket. I'll keep hold of this for now. Oh, we are actually making tea. Checking up it regularly. Okay. Turn that out. Wrinkle bottom cracks. Can I read the paper? Oh no, they just do that again. Ah, do you remember this case? Ox and Fox Gang, wasn't it? Made a mint selling forgeries of famous works of art until you stepped in. That's right. Kept this one as a souvenir. It's a reproduction of the goat with a pearl earring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the goat with the pearl earring. You know, the you really basket. must replace this waste paper bin. It's starting to look rather ragged. Yes, and whose fault is that? Don't know why you keep buying these straw ones. You know you can't resist a nibble when you're peckish. As I say, we should replace it. Yeah, it's a nice new straw basket, I think. Just for you to nibble on again, eh, Winklebottom? I'm rather What's fond this? of this scarf. Okay, it's a bit on the short side, though. Oh, it's just the scarf. It's a bit on the short side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Admiral Aristotle Guilfrey sent a mysterious invitation and lives on an isolated island. Any ideas, old thing? The object promise to make me a new cup of tea. Ah, uh, yes. Well, the tea first. Now to pour some out for the good doctor. Okay. I'll take this, good for the old bone. And the milk. One of Rumpel's many to One of Rumpel. Okay, how do I. Aha. One of Rumpel's many. Dang it. Oh, 
and in with the tail. Yes, yes. Always tea first, and then a cup of milk in the cup. Here you are, then, a nice fresh cup of tea. Ah, uh, that's much better. I say, this tastes a bit off. Did you put the tea in first or something? Ah, was that wrong? 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 What sort of animal do you think I am? <laughs> Paolo, fine, what do you mean wrong? Friend. Come along, we need to be off. The ticket says we are to meet a Mr. Walters at the docks. You're doing your milk first, there's retired. something wrong with oh, you. Oh, very well. I suppose this will have to do. Tea first, I ask you. So would he rather the milk first? That absolute animal? Who does ah, that? Ah, just smell that salty sea air. It takes me back to my childhood holidays on the coast with Gilfrey. Even then <laughs> the you could tell the snug. old boy was destined for a life on the waves. Don't much care for it myself. Went on a ghastly school trip to Blackpool as a lad. I tried to go for a donkey ride. Donkey was furious. He told me I was too heavy. Wretched fellow. Well, never mind that now, old boy. We need to find the docks and this salty Walters chap who's going to take us over to Gilfrey's Island. It's... If you're not trying to do it, I'll ask to help you out. Select his cup of tea for a hint. Okay. My steadfast companion and colleague. Yeah, no, give me the tea. Any ideas? Oh, we should probably check around for this Walters fellow. We got the tickets. For yeah. What about you? Let me in, you bleeding crooked canine. Oh, hello. Good day to you, sir. Greetings. <laughs> Bleeding well isn't a good day. That reprobate Walters has locked me out of my own pup. I do apologise, sir. Shouldn't take it out on you like, but he's... Indeed, sir. Quite the predicament. Um... So this is yeah, what about the pup? I take it? Indeed so, sir. Used to be my father's, but I took it over as the oldest of the litter. We do a good trade, serving the sailors and those sharp buttons are if we have to hanging out. for dear they life. Savory characters from time to time. I say, Winklebottom, I do hope he's not talking about the chap who's meant to sail us out of the island. Uh, what about the Can door? We get the door open. I'm rather afraid I have business with this Walters fellow. He's bleeding well gone and locked the door from the inside. And my spare keys in my bed. Sandra, like your fault. I do have a certain talent for retrieving. Oh, if you wouldn't mind, sir. It's the window on the right up there, uh, not the left one. That. Li uh, this one. Uh. Lord Winklebottom committing common larceny? Most certainly not. Damn. <laughs> That's it. Use the tongue. Well, I can see them, but. Okay, can we? Lord Winklebottom. Ah, pearls. Can I use these? No. What about the curtain tie box? These must be the keys that I put. Okay, we can't reach. Must be something elsewhere. I'm not quite sure what I'm on this for. Picking up litter, eh? Very public. A number of wooden barrels. They all seem to be... Hmm. One of the old English kings lost his head in the Great Frog War, if I remember my history. <laughs> Careless, if you ask me. Can you them back there? A uh, touch narcissistic, I feel. Uh, touch oh, because he's looking at himself. Why don't I go to the docks? Find something there. Come back. Uh, like a boat hook. hook. They should come in. The flying Dutchman. Ah, perhaps this is the best. <laughs> the flying Dutchman. <laughs> Dashwell hope not. What with that blasty great hole on the side of it? <laughs> oh my god. I say, old chap, a moment of your time. Greetings, my good man. Good day to you. What can I do for you? Uh, salty I have a ticket Walters? for conveyance of myself and my colleague here with a Mr. Walters. I wonder if you know the gentleman. That lay about. Oh, I know him all right. But you'll not be going anywhere with him till he pays his docking fees. Nobody leaves this dock without my say-so. No docking fees, no permit to leave. I say, Winklebottom, this Walters fellow sounds like a flaky sort of character, what? Well, can we discuss... 
Yeah, how do we get a permit? How do we obtain a permit? Well, you could get Walters to pay his docking fees, but that's not likely to happen. Tell you what. Manual labor, very much like. Okay. Well, what can I can do the actual work, but I've run out of wood. I need some planks or something. I'm going to get him wood. Also, this barrel of tar here solidify. I don't need much, but I need a way to melt some of it. Some way to. Shouldn't be a problem for a genius. Right, okay. Right then, so wood and a way to heat up the tar. This tar is hard as rock. We'll need to heat it up to get any out. Can't stand the filthy stuff. Looks like mud, but just you try wallowing in it. You need a chisel to get it off you. Oh, what about the seagull? Or the tools? You know, Grumpel, we might be able to make use of this saw. Blimey, not the He's not going to let us have it. What about the rope? Let's take this with us, just... Uh, Mr. Seagull. Uh, excuse me, sir, would you mind... I say, <laughs> really know that. Here's some looking blight around, keeping well away. <laughs> Back to the pub. Ah yes, this seems to be just the ticket. Perhaps I should keep this hook for collecting out of reach leaves. Okay. We have the uh, Let me in the keys. you bleeding. Well goodbye. I say don't you think I use the keys. Right then, this On should the do door. the trick. Oh thank you kindly, sir. Right then. Let's see what that bleeder has been up to in my pub. Wouldn't fancy being in that fellow's shoes, eh? Can I go in? You'll bleeding well pay for this, Walters. How did we Look fit what in? you've done. This bleeding barrel is bleeding well empty now. Get out, you hear? Keep your snout out of me business. I be leaving in my own time. I won't be taking no orders from a landlubber like you. I say, Frumpel, this is the chap who's going to sail us to the island. Fellow looks like he's barely able to stand on the of the ship. Oh, wood. This fireplace is as cool as... I need some of that wood. Hey, get your pilfering po... Oh, he won't let me clear up the glasses. What the rum jug? Get your bloody moves it. off. Nope. Um, the barrel. I say, Barky, would you mind off? You'd be doing me a favour. That'd be a so damned if I can figure out where you keep all this stuff, Wingle. Uh, Patron. Not the landlord. Um. I say, old chap, in terms of lighting the fire. No bleeding way. Cost me money, that does. With that waste of space, drinking me out of house and home, I need to save every last shilling. I'd have to get a lot colder before I start a fire. Right. I say, what about the rum jug? I'm awfully letting us have that jug of rum you have sitting on the bar over. Well, I suppose you did help me get... Okay. I wonder what you could so tell we do have the, the rum jug. Who's been slumped over that table over there? Or at least access to the wrong joke. That's what it is. He's cleared me out. Can you believe it? Drunk all me bleeding beer he has. Very bothersome, I'm sure. Well, thank you for your time. Very good. We should take our reward. Uh, can I ring the bell? Ah, what terrible Sawyer and Song be that? Last orders are upon us already. Oh, that tricks him hard. Quick, you rapacious rapscallion. I've been eating more beer. I shouldn't keep reading this unnecessarily. While he's not looking. What's that noise? Hey, get your pelt. Fuck. Ah, it was but a false alarm. <laughs> Damn it. I have no idea what these balls are. They look terribly nautical. Yeah. Uh, the painting, maybe? A painting of a ship. It's perhaps not the most refined. Probably for the best, I wouldn't have anything valuable in this place. Not... I'll ring the bell ah, some more. What te Quake, you're a pig. 
Can I? What if I take this one? Just one minute. Don't think you that be mine, you great Fuck. thief and scallywag. Who's off it? Try to pinch ah, his pint. <laughs> He's not falling for it. How did I get him out? Excuse me, sir. Do you know? What makes you say that? He seems like. Can't rightly say. Something about primates. Uh, what about this one? I say, Winkerbottom. This fellow looks like a bit of a bore. Hey, what? <laughs> yeah, it's very good, Grandpa. Ah, uh, yeah, very, very good, very good indeed. This fireplace is. Oi, I talk is salty. Yeah, no, you're about to take right us somewhere. Oh, spit out. What be you wanting, stranger? Yeah, where you're about you to take us Walters, sailing. I take it. That I am, and don't you. Then you want to take us to the Isle of Bargast. Nope, I'll be staying here with me drinks. I, I, I say, you also, we have tickets, you know. Pay for in advance. Nar. Nar. Well, goodbye then. Yar. Yeah, I need to find a way to sober him up. Apparently, a heavy drinker. Ideas, old thing. Well, we probably need to get the things that Puffin fellow was asking. Uh, yeah. Well, let's go see what he wants. Was he a Puffin? Well, if I opened this window. Well, let's see if we can't get this window open. No, it's no good. Let's give another go. Probably just... Well, if you say so, just one. Oh, oh dear. Well, I still got the job. Bollocks. You know, I really do feel absolutely terrible about this. Still, I I, I broke the window. <laughs> oh no! Lord Winklebottom committing. Oh, he won't let me pinch it. He's back to the docks, and let's see, will the barrel hey, suffice? A barrel. It's made of wood. It's a good effort, but I can't very well pluck this hole with a wacky great barrel now, can I? Maybe. Oh, you also break it up? Well, then. You know, Grumpel, we might be able to. Grab Blimey. I see the barrel with the saw. No, I don't think this. What do you mean, no? It's the perfect idea. Ah, perhaps this is the best. Dash well, hope not. What with that blasted great hope? Who's this one? one? Have a look at this tiny little boat. Wouldn't fancy my chances trying to cross the sea in this thing, eh? Quite so, old man. Yeah, what if I'd I took really rather not. this with this? No. No, I didn't. Oh, I know. Here you are then, sir. What Some if you took the rum? Perhaps this will quench your thirst. I say, you nearly ripped your blasted hoof off. <coughs> well, that seems to have calmed him down considerably. Right? And now, now I can take the tools. Sure. You see? The <laughs> And now I can now do Frumple, this you with hold this. Now, the barrel, and I'll attempt to chop it up. Careful where you're waving that thing. No other doctor's around to patch me up if you slip, you know. <laughs> I can give him the planks. Will this do the job? Ah, uh, yes. This will do nicely. I could use this wood for me repairs. And he needed a heating element for his tar. It's an empty jug. I have reservations about. I say, old chap, a moment to. Well then. I, I say, old chap, a moment. <gasps> well, I broke the window time. upstairs, so it's gonna be cold. Therefore, 
the landlord was going to want to turn the fire on. I say, it is rather chilly in here, what? Yeah, it's colder than Poseidon's drawers in here. Oh, for goodness. Give the place a rather cozy. How do I get that fire outside? Since the landlord is looking the other way, perhaps I might borrow. Fellas probably used to things going walk about in this. <laughs> what did I just pinch? Poker. But I'd really rather not. Now to heat this poker up somewhat. Yes, this is done. Be careful with that thing, don't want to burn up. Oh, now that the poker's hot, I can go and melt the tar with it. Right then, Frumble, just watch this. Yes, the hot poker is melting through the tar like butter. Oh, what a noxious niff. Let's get rid of this stuff quickly. This tar is hard as rock. We can't stand the filthy stuff. Looks like... Wait, did I not hook her with tar here? This is just what I need. I could use this to waterproof the repair. Thank you for that, fellas. Now I could repair the hole in this boat. Oh, that worked out well. First class job. Even if I do say so myself. Well, nobody else is likely to. Well, with that done, I'm finished for the day, so you're both free to go. Give this permit to Walters and let him know his debt is cleared. This time. Okay, we have the permit. Back to Salty. Your permit, Oi, Salty. It? It's, um... I say, old boy, we have a permit here. You're free to leave the docks whenever you wish. Does that long neck of yours make you out of here in the summer? I already said I'll not... I say, this is just too much. You, sir, are, are a cad, a, a bounder, a, a, a dashed rotter, hang it all. Stay on there, old boy. Okay, now what about drinks? You founder. We have tickets and you will jolly well sail us out to that island. Dash it all. I won't be sailing today. I drinks me beer to wash away the terrible taste of the salty seawater. Hates it, I does. I will not be sailing again for a while now that I've got that accursed taste out of my system. Ironic that a man named Salty should hate the taste of seawater, so, isn't it, Frumpel? Dash inconvenient if you ask me. <laughs> um, now look at you. I won't. Ironic then. Dash inconvenient. Well, goodbye then. Well, it seems more than a little work. Okay. Crumple. Any ideas on Thoughts? Need to get that sailor fellow to do his job. Have a word with him and see if there's anything we can use to get him out of the pub. What if I just give him the box? Uh, no. I trick him with last orders and then try to knock all his glasses away. Uh, no. Uh, no. This seems unlike. Damn it. So he's on a timer when it comes to this bit. If I talk to him up here, oh, it's just the landlord. Uh, no. Ah, twas but a false alarm. Damn it! I don't know what it wants from me. Wake you up! By you, Frumble, but I'm a touch with touch. I must be completely half cut. Ah, twas but a false alarm. The sailor's glass of beer. One. Can I get the no, landlord no, no, no. to cut him off. Hey, do you I want to cut him off? About the sailor. of more. Very bubble. Well, thank you. Mm, very good. No. No, I don't. Ah, 
want. Quake, you're a pig. I really. Just one minute. Don't that be mine, you great. Ah, How do I get him to move? Hey, get your pill. Really yeah, well, I don't have reservations at all. I threaten really him with a saw. This seems. I have no idea what these are. Can I drop those on his head? No, I didn't. I have reservations. Saw through the boat. They're boring. Give the place a rather kick. Hates the taste of salt. If I find something salty to put in his drink, he might stop drinking. You know, I really do feel absolutely. Anything in these barrels? No, ba oh. I might be able to get some seawater in this if I need. I've tied the ropes with the handle of this jug. Now I'll lower the jug down on this road. I'll pour seawater in this drink. We now have a jug full. <laughs> they poured into Wait, his drink or into the empties, though? No, I don't think. Quickly, while he's not into looking, his. Just... This foul flavor. Oh, my last beer is ruined, and that pickaroon pig won't sell me no more. Do I take it you might not be willing to carry out your job? No reason not to know. Maybe the apple can see his way to providing me with a bit of the old grog. <laughs> Go way back, him and me. Show me to the docks then. I, I be waiting at me. Ve I wonder if his vessel's gonna be that tiny boat. <laughs> my word, there appears to be a storm coming in. We must. Nerd, I knew it was going to be the tiny one. And why'd I fix this up? Wait, you don't mean this is your ship? Oi, that it be? And what of it? I just don't think it looks particularly seaworthy. She's a fine vessel. Served me on many a long voyage, she has. That's not terribly reassuring. Shall we set sail for the island then? Oi, that we will. All me permits are in order, so all aboard I just, for the I island. Knew, I had a feeling he was going to have the little rowboat. Ah. <sighs> Then what I fix up the big one for? Case of the expired axolotl. Hold on, hold on, I'm coming. Ah, made it at last. Madam, would you be so kind as to let your master know? Oh, sir. It's terrible! A tragedy! The master! He's... he's dead! I said what? It's true, sir! Oh, the 
Oh, master, I found him, sir, just crumbling there in his tube. Stiff as a board he was. Oh, it was horrible. Gilfrey, dead, but this doesn't make any sense. He was in the prime of his life. The, the fellow was as strong as an ox. Oh, a very tiny ox, anyway. Oh, well, there's <laughs> old chap. I, I am sorry. We should take a look, just to be certain. Madam, Dr. Frumple here will want to examine the poor fellow. And if there's even a hint of foul play, you can be certain that Lord Winklebottom will get to the bottom of it. Oh, my lord, thank God you're here. The master spoke of you often. Tell me, who else is in the house? Well, my lord, there's the staff. That's myself and Ambrose, the butler. Uh, the gong over there should summon him. Also, Pumphrey, the gardener. Though he's been moping around outside of late. Miserable old side of miss. Oh, sorry, my lord. Anybody else? Oh, yes, my lord. There are a great many guests here today. The master had a big announcement to make, he said. Right, Frumple, we should have a look at poor Gilfrey, then introduce ourselves to the other guests. Thank you, madam, you've been most helpful. You're welcome, my lord. Have you any luggage with you? I can have Ambrose take it upstairs for you. Alas, no, we lost most of our possessions on the journey over here. Our means of conveyance turned out to be a touch unstable. It was all I could do to keep hold of me tea. <laughs> He's carrying around the CM cup of tea. A bust of the great composer, Beethoven. Not just a great composer, but an excellent <laughs> trick too, you know. I hear he was an expert <laughs> at rolling over. Uh, brilliant. Then who's this? A bust of the great Caesar. Guilfrey was most interested in ancient history. Of course, Good of course. Christ, look at his eyes. They look even more soulless than the real thing. What is it with you in prime? Ethelberta. This is a portrait of Guilfrey's late wife, Ethelberta. She died tragically young a few years ago. How did she die, anyway? It was a terrible incident involving an airship. I say, crashed with her on board? No, she flew too close to the propellers and... Well, you can imagine the rest. Um, um, who's this? It's the daughter? Constance? A painting of Gilfrey's only daughter, Constance. And this is Gilfrey. Ah, a portrait of the great fellow himself. Distinguished looking chap, eh, Winklebottom? Who's this? I say, Winklebottom. That fellow must have been going like a bomb when you ran into that war, what? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard that one before, and it's not in very good taste. I suppose when you think oh, about no, it, it's it is quite an old tradition. A little morbid, in fact. Look, the poor fellow even has some of his clothing still on him. This chap is beyond even your skills, I fear. Uh, Beryl. Let's have a... Perhaps we could discuss the other people who are here. Who else is uh, the, the staff? Other than Ambrose, it's just Pumphrey, the gardener. Used to be more of you, eh? Oh, yes, sir. It's really just a skeleton staff now. The master was away so much on his travels. More so since the mistress passed away. He doesn't need a full staff these days, I'm afraid. What can you uh, tell me about the guests here? I don't know any of them well. It's the first... Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Do you know uh, the announcement? Oh, I'm sorry, my lord. I don't. Okay, well, you're That'll useless. Uh, let's oh, ring say, the gong. gong. I'm not entirely convinced that gong is a verb, but very well. Gong. You don't actually need to say gong, you know. Oh, well, I suppose. Gong. It's strange, the maid said this would call the butler. But... Servants' quarters, kitchen, dining room, drawing room, and the corridors. Uh, find dad and pipe. Ah, I see. The butler's a sloth. He's coming. Uh, daughter. Worked with the family for some time. Uh, that's salty. It would be proven to alert someone on the mainland to the death. Hello? Operator? Ah yes, hello. Oh, I wonder the if you'd be so kind as to connect me to Scotland Yard. Inspector Culver's office, if you please. Yes, thank you. Uh, 
Uh, nah, the, the phone gets cut. Gone out. What on earth was all that about? I'm not sure. I tell you, the telephone line. Crikey, that's a bit of a mess. What could have Figures as much. Well, one thing's for sure, we're not going to be able to contact the mainland. So I need to fix this. This wire has been severed cleanly too. Good suspect, if you ask me. Maybe if we can find some replacement. Oh, I don't get bring my toys with me. Well, let's go to the dining room. I'm sorry, what? Damn Celia. Madame Lavinia. Oh, that's his tube. Well, uh -oh. I believe Let's these are the the future. Rather a pity they can't see into the past so we could find out what happened to Gilfrey. I say, Frumpel, I can see a mist starting to form in this. No, old boy, that's just your monocle steaming up because of the heat from the fire. Oh, then we probably shan't get the answer. Madame Lavinia. Three things. You are Lord Winklebottom, are you not? I say, that's amazing. Did you see all that new crystal ball? Or a message from the spirits, perhaps? No, I saw an article about you in the newspaper earlier today. Oh, well, yes, I, I suppose that will also work. Anyway, I am very pleased to meet you. I am Madame Lavinia, and I am a spirit medium. Well, what? Mm, do you want to contact Gilfrey for us? Can you tell me about Gilfrey? Oh, that poor soul. Such tragedy in this household first my Quite so, very sad. What's your connection to Kim? I've known Ethelberta since she was a duckling. I've no idea why darling at Greetings. You are Lord I say that No, I saw oh, no oh, this. Anyway, I Well Greetings. You are Lord I say Didn't mean to hit no, that again. Oh, well. Anyway, that Well, quite Thank you for your time. Uh, what are these flowers? I suppose it's time. Careful, thing you'll get your head stuck in that vase. I say you're right. Yes, my head goes all the way in. I can eat this. Not with the vase. Can I take the vase? No. What was that about? What did I learn? She's a medium and knew Ethelberta well. Let's see the clock. If I turn the hands, I can make the clock chime. But to what end? A roaring hot fire. Okay, DM Celia. Greetings, greetings, madam. What's that, young man? Speak up! I said oh, greetings, God. madam. No, it's no good. Diction. That's the problem with you young people. You need to learn to project. Okay, I hit her. We're not going to get very far here, Winklebottom. My diagnosis is the old bird is deaf as a post. I'm so glad to have you here, Frumple. I've no idea how I would manage without your expert opinion on such matters. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Greetings, man. What's that, young... I said... No... We're not going to get oh, very far. I'm so glad to have you here. No through to her. Greetings. What's that, young? I, I don't mean to hit it again. We're oh my God. I'm so glad to have you here, Frumple. Oh, thank. Thank you for your. What's that? Uh, Isaiah Winklebottom. Do you know who this is? It's Dame Celia Wellington Boot. I'm sure I have no idea. She's famous. <laughs> Dame Celia was a star of the stage. I had quite the crush on her as a young calf. Uh, what if I tried to pinch her bag? Dame Celia's haberdashery bag. Let's have a look at the tube. This tube is part of the network of pipes Gilfrey used to get around the house. Being amphibious, he preferred to stay in these as much as possible. Ingenious system, mind you. Mm, this yeah, painting is called Adventure Awaits, apparently. Oh, personally, I could do with a bit less adventure in my life. Just back to the hallway. Maybe the butler's here now? No. Go ring the gong once more. No. Oh, into the kitchen. Fruit? A bowl of fruit. You know what they Well, it doesn't seem to have worked, does it? The knife. It's surprising how often a good shop. Yeah, let's let's keep the knife. 
At least we know we can make more tea if we need to. Oh, that's a relief. I feel like I've been nursing this cup for hours now. Though I'll make it next time and put the milk in first and like you meant to. Our <laughs> absolute criminal. Oh my god. From What's in the fridge? Look at this. This is terrible. What? What is it? The butter's They're just left red open wine like that. In the refrigerator. This is sacrilege. Oh, is that all? I thought you'd run. A block of butter. Might be. I like it when it's solid. Easier to take a bite out of it, you know. This man is the actual. Frumpel, you're the fence expert. Do you think we should take. As you wish, but don't expect me to know what to do with it. I mean. I'll take everything that I can. Back to the hallway. Oh, freezer door. Like I can't just cold. cause them to spontaneously combust. When I was in the calf scouts, we'd make fires by rubbing. I see, and do you have any twigs handy? Uh, you don't have to poo poo all my. What about the side door? This door appears to be locked. Yes, quite locked. so. What? The dumb yeah, waiter, maybe? <laughs> oh, where does this lead? Oh, blasted thing. Okay, is there a way I can. I have reservation. No. I'm gonna prop it open with the, the pan. Go back to the hallway. And servants' quarters. I'll do all downstairs, and then I'll go up. Ugh, this bed is this. absolutely filthy. Rumble, what do you make of this? Looks like some kind of slime or mucus. I'd say this bed is used by a mollusk of some sort. Filthy buggers. And a little toy axolotl. Bit of an old thing to keep around. Mm -hmm, Clyde. No, what is this? The drawing room? Oh my goodness. Reverend Peabody. Sir Winslet. Oh my god, there he is. There's the Admiral. I wonder if these chaps know what happened to Gilfrey. You could ask, but I doubt they'd hear. And I don't suppose they saw anything anyway. And if they did, they wouldn't say. Ha 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 ha. Who's this? Ah, this chap is Lord Malcolm Schmidt. I've met him in the house a number of times. A great speaker, although I'm not sure all this makes a good deal of sense. Looks most distinguished. Generally, yes, though not so much when food is around. He can get quite raucous at times. Let us have a look in. Uh, just some paper. Not inherently so, but in this case, yes. They don't seem to be any. Best way, in my opinion, get it out of the. One would hope that you at least. I guess there's none of interest there. Let's see his award. An award for amphibian of the year. A fine amphibian you could never hope to meet, eh, Frumpel? Uh, and a sport trophy. trophy. Won by Gilfrey. One of his sporting trophies myself in my youth, you know. Came second in the old boys' egg and spoon race back at the old academy. They let me keep the spoon. Had to give back the egg mind. Matron only later that morning. Oh my god. <laughs> um but the armor. A relic of the great frog wars. Goofy was most fond of ancient history. I say, that axe he's carrying would do you a real mischief if you got on the wrong end of it. But maybe we should f see what is wrong with them, but also what's in the box? Ah. Uh. I see. It's, uh, it's a puzzle. With the I say, look at this old boy. It's Gilfrey and I during our school days. Ah, those were happy times. Not for me. You couldn't abide school. The other boys used to make fun of my name. Dumple, they call me. The Rotters. Let's have a look at him. Nothing to be done for the poor fellow until we can drain the water, I fear. We shall have to get him out of there if I'm to do an autopsy. Can't very well determine the cause of death just by gawping him through the glass, you know. Okay, well, how do we get him out? Let's talk to the Reverend. Greetings, sir. 
Ah, hello, my child. I am most pleased to make your acquaintance at this sad, sad time. Pleased to meet you. I'm Lord Winklebottom III, and this is my colleague, Dr. Reginald Frumple. Bless you, my children. I am Reverend Archibald Peabody. Yeah, how did you know Gilfrey? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I wouldn't know. I have not heard from him for a few years until just recently when he wrote to me out of the blue. I know he had something to announce, but I'm afraid I don't know what. It is most intriguing, to be sure. Uh, what about the other guests? Do you know any of the other guests? I believe I may have seen Madame Lavinia at some interfaith conference or other, but not to speak to. Okay. Well, so thank you doesn't know oh, Yes. What about Sir Winslet? Or rather... One of those new gramophone. gramophone players. Modern technology is wonderful. Just look how tiny it is. Uh, Sir Winslet. Greetings. Introduce yourself. Oh, Winklebottom, isn't it? I've written reports about your exploits for my newspaper. Oh, really? And which of our adventures have you covered? <laughs> Sorry, old thing. Not sure I recognize you. Frumble. Doctor Frumble? You said you'd covered our cases. Oh, that's right. You're the gentleman's gentleman, yes? We're partners. Equal partners. Blasted hack. All right, Frumble. Pleased to meet you, sir, but I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage. Winslet's the name, old thing. Pleased to meet you, sir. I say, it's true what they say, then, about you preferring to walk on all fours. <laughs> Bit old-fashioned these days, what? I just happen to think it's rather more refined. Plus he'd bash his bonds on the ceiling if he tried to walk in the modern style. Mm -hmm. And how do you know Gilfrey? How did you know, you know Mr. Gilfrey? In reverse order, and not a blasted clue, and I'm engaged to his daughter Constance. You're a journalist, you say? Could that be the reason you're here? Might be, old boy. The old fellow wasn't entirely taken with me, truth be told. But if he wanted somebody to get the word out about something, that certainly fit the bill. You didn't get along with Gilfrey then? Well, I mean, I've never actually met him, you understand. This is the first time Constance has brought me to the island. But I'm sure he wouldn't approve of me. Crikey, my own family don't. So why would somebody else's? Hmm, so you're Constance? engaged young Constance over there? Oh, Winklebottom, I'm a changed cat since meeting her. I was quite the party animal, but fair to say, she's tamed me. You didn't get on with the Admiral, though. It was nothing he said, you understand, but I don't think he approved. I don't have a lot of luck with family. Even my own disinherited. I say, that's rather harsh of them. Too many parties, I suppose. And being a journalist <laughs> is not exactly an appropriate job for somebody of my status. Most unfortunate. I get to keep the title. I'm a baronet, don't you know? But I'm afraid it's left me rather cash poor. So he gets the title, but no Thank the you money. Time. Well, out to the orangery. And we shall speak to Constance. However, there's a tasty looking plant. My word, this plant really does look frightfully tasty. Oh dear, how awfully embarrassing. <laughs> but was it an important clue? Uh, what a fly oh, trap. chap was killed after getting trapped in one of those. So Bumble's the second. Very nasty way to go. Well, oh, printing cheers. Let's take these with the us. Indeed. It will be sheer folly to leave them. Oh, fuck off, Frumple. I say. Yes, I understood. What about the hose pipe? I don't really want to look around an entire hose. Tropical pitcher plant. I have no idea what this app is. I'm certainly not going to touch it, but I know it's safe. Maybe if we could find out more about it. Well, let's ask Constance. Greetings. You must be Miss Gilfrey. Our most sincere condolences on your sad loss. Oh, if it isn't Lord Winklebottom. Father talked about you often. And you must be Mr. Frumple? Uh, Doctor, actually. Uh... That is, I mean, uh, sorry for your loss, miss. First mother and now this. I think we must have done something unspeakable in a past life to suffer so much pain in this one. 
Don't you agree, Lord Winklebottom? There has been some terrible tragedy here, I agree, but I fear there may be some more earthly causes for the most recent one, at least. You think there's villainy at work here? We don't know yet, however, his death was quite a shock, as, as far as I know, he was fit as a fiddle before he died. In any case, Dr. Frumple will be able to tell us more. I think, if you don't mind... Goodbye okay, for now. so I'm not getting anything out of her. Um... Can use the printing really shears on these? What about? I have resume. Uh, no. We got a saucepan of sap. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna go back to the hallway. And the left corridor, I suppose. Bedrooms, bathroom. I say, Frumble, this is a portrait of King Alec, the most popular monarch in his day. Oh, indeed so. A very good old boy, as I understand it. Quite so, Frumple. A good boy indeed. Looks like a good boy. What about this one? Traits of Vetus Varnus. Maybe somebody Gilfie knew from his military days. Looks like a pretty tough brave sword to me, at any rate. Seems like a most agreeable fellow. Uh, this looks like a detective. A painting of one Max the Tux Shaver. I say, didn't this fellow help us out on a case once? Indeed so. Quite a respectable chap now, but had a bit of a murky past, I recall. Yes, gave us some information about a particularly loathsome fellow who'd been running a smuggling ring. What about the boar bust? Well, I can't see. We'll check the bathroom then. I'll just take this. You know, I can prescribe medication if you need it. You don't have to go around stealing drugs from dead people. It's an empty bottle, <laughs> Um. Part of Gilfrey's pipe network. This one must have allowed him to easily get into the bath. Looks like great fun. We'll be better with a mud pit at the end of it, though. Different seats for small, medium, and large posteriors. Saves accidents with small animals falling in the bowl. Most considerate. I don't wish to go right now, and certainly not. <laughs> this might be the top. My tip top. Yep. Why, if you take that, people won't be able. Oh, you won't let me. Look at this. Toilet Silly beggars have put the toilet roll on the wrong way round. You know, between this and the tea fiasco, I sometimes feel like I yeah, I'm, like I'm sorry. Anymore. What? The tea was one thing, but this is—he is crazy. The guest bedrooms are all down here. Don't know why we bother. Even the daftest criminal isn't stupid enough to leave a crimp. You say that. Well, but I was bad and we find something. What did I tell you? I know, old friend, but we had to do. Oh. I didn't get a check. I didn't even get the check. Oh, can I take the tie? Can't get this off by hoof. I think it's been glued up. I have reservation. Sorry about this, sir, but I'm afraid we have need of your tie. Oh, uh, frightfully so Can't do this while the old goat is hanging around, what? Okay, I need to get her to go to then get the tie, but what do I need the tie for? Who's this chap? Ah, I do believe I've met this gentleman, a fellow by the name of Tobin. Wily looking chap. I dare say he would have a tale or two to tell. Indeed so, quite the talented wordsmith too. He throws around some most impressive verbiage. And this one? This is a self-portrait, apparently, of a fellow by the name of Lake Cabilius. A renowned scientist and explorer. Maybe a colleague of Gilfrey's. Perhaps so. I believe I may have met the chap once at a party held by him and his husband. Very good food, as I recall. The attic and the study. Let's go to the study first. Oh, well... I find... 
photograph from one of Guilford's expeditions. Jeff suddenly got around a bit. Oh, he's in Egypt. What about this one? Photographs from some of Guilford's expeditions. Jeff suddenly got around a bit. I can't make them out. Who's Ooh, this? I say, this is a bit risque. I've never understood a naked why are so averse to wearing clothing like any normal animal. Bunch of exhibitionists, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, they're known as exhibitionists. Looks like our dear friend Inspector Culver has solved another case. It seems this was an international case. He was aided by a foreign chap named Inspector Waffles. I'd rather go for a waffle right now. Is there any time you couldn't? Mood. Mood. Put the coins. I think I'll leave these be. Not really cricket. I mean, you've done nothing but walk around picking up things that don't belong to you since we left home this morning, but... This Egg photo. Baby photograph of Constance. Yeah, look at a little bow. Ah. I don't really think this diving suit would fit me. Ooh, what do we find here? A small blade. My God, with the water, this might be it. The murder. Other than there being no blood in the water, this blade barely being sharp enough to break paper, let alone flesh, and the fact the murderer would have to dry it off and place it back in his desk after using it, rather than just taking it with him. Yes, I'd say this fits. Nobody likes you when you act like a blast of clever clogs, you know. On top of all that, we don't even know that this is a murder yet. Yes, you've made your point. Other than his hat. Looks like. Oh, you know what this means. Quick, give me a pencil. I'm going to rub over it and reveal what was written on a torn-off sheet. This is my favourite. Here you go, then. It's working. It's... Let me see now. One dozen eggs, one lettuce, a quart of milk. Well done, Crumple. You've uncovered an old shopping list. Oh, uh, I disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> my table pan. Uh, Spode and Dr. Price. Look at the wardrobe. I might come in the wire coat pen. hanger. If I bring shears, sure the coat them, hanger. Looks like the jigger now, yeah. though. Let's check them away. And then I can use coat hanger wires to fix the phone. So let's um. This tube is part of the network of pipes Gilfrey used to get around the ingenious system. Let's see, Doctor Price. Greetings, dear lady. Oh, hello. I am Lord Winklebottom III, and this is my companion, Dr. Frumpel. I'm Vivian. Dr. Vivian Price. You're a doctor. Yes. Well, sort of. Not medicine. Geology. And physics. Also biology and linguistics. A few things. Yes, well, medicine is difficult, especially for a... well, you know. Frumpel. Oh, don't worry. I'm used to that sort of reaction. Did she turn red to indicate she's angry? Were you invited here for Let's this hear about her work. Too? Me? Oh no, I live here. Well, not here in the house, but but on the island. I, I work. I oh, okay, work, so she's a former Admiral Gilfrey. Former Strange, employee. The maid didn't mention other stuff. No, she wasn't. Yeah. People tend to forget about me, you see, Mr. Winklebottom. Sometimes I think I might as well just blend into the scenery. What was the nature of your employment here? You know of Gilfrey's expeditions. I helped him examine the artifacts he brought back. Cataloging, mostly. Sometimes there'd be something more interesting. Anything recently? Could that be what he intended to announce? Some big discovery? No, nothing. I'm sure I would have known if there was something like that. I am sorry, Mr. Winklebottom. Well, uh, what about the others? Do you know the, uh, the rest of the guests? Not very much, I'm afraid. I haven't really spoken to anybody. I don't even know the staff all that well. I tried talking to the gardener earlier, but he was in a frightful temper. Uh-huh. He mentioned Who's the gardener was in a bad mood. Do you know why? Oh, well, he's always kind of grumpy, you know, but he seemed perfectly livid last time I saw him. Thought he was being given the sack, I think. Something about a vegetable patch? You should probably ask him. Hmm. All right, then. Thank you, miss. And let's see. Spood. 
Must have been his bed that was all slimy. Greetings, good sir. Ulysses Spode of Spode, Spode, and Flavonin. At your service, sir. Christ. <laughs> Quite so. Uh-huh. Your role here? Today's events? Don't rightly know, sir. Old Gilfrey wanted me to come and observe, he said. Worried there might be a spot of bother about whatever it was he was announcing. Legal bother, you mean? As you say. Wouldn't tell me in advance what the whole Bally Palava was all about, though. I suppose now we'll never know. Well, perhaps. So, since I'm here anyway and the old boy has popped off, might as well sort through his paperwork and make sure everything is in order. Lots to sort out when somebody dies, you know. Especially somebody as rich as him. We shall speak uh -huh. more later. Quite Always soon. here if you need me. Um, let's see the indicator light. Like says, Warning, do not open pressure valve when pump is powered. Maybe just a slight turn, just to see what happens. No, from pump. Okay, I need that light to go off. Let's see what we know and who we know. Right. We know this. We know this. Old friend of Gilfrey, he's a sea lion of the cloth. <laughs> the maid, family for some time. You know, a bit salty. Vivian Price, worked as a researcher and lives on the island. Pumphrey, seems angry at Gilfrey. Uh, yes, yes. Sir Winslet is estranged from his family. Spode is a solicitor in the sort in Gilfrey's affairs. Apparently a famous actress. Uh, the attic then. From what I recall, this door leads to the attic, sadly. Uh, why do people insist on locking doors? I rather imagine Gilfrey wasn't expecting to die. Well, yes, I, I suppose the whole thing is rather more inconvenient for him. Why did I leave? Try then. Ah, oh, yes, I have a connection. Operator, get me Scotland Yard. Has it got through? She's just connecting me now. Ah, greetings. This is Lord Winklebottom. I wish to report a suspicious death on the Isle of Barghurst. I say hello? Hello? What's wrong? The line's dead. Must have gone down somewhere outside the house. Blasted, I don't think my message got through. Damn it. Sound to us, Frumple. We must investigate this death ourselves. Uh, that was futile. Let's see, Miss Beryl. Perhaps you Maybe should get, you should some, get rest. some rest. Oh, no, sir. What place is here? Go. Uh. Let's back to the dining room. There's nothing left. You're a dick. I. Don't quite know what it wants me to do. Any ideas, old thing? Should probably head outside now that we've spoken to everybody in the house. Hold on, what did the. Uh... Any ideas, old thing? Should probably head outside now that we've spoken to everybody in the ah. house. Fair enough.
appetite. I say, friend, but look, there's an imprint here. Somebody must have... Oh, it's very obviously a key. There's no need to act so badly clever. As you say, I... The near Pumphrey. The gardener. Hello, so you're the man. one that leaves do slime you mind, everywhere. But I have work to do. This storm is going to ruin my plants. Perhaps you've not yet heard. I'm afraid. Oh, I've heard. And where does that leave me? That's what I want to know. Bloody inconsiderate of him it is. Charming fellow. Oh well then. Oh, okay, yes. he does not wish to talk no more. It's no good. We won't get anywhere in this weather. And it's back inside then. Oh, wait, what? Some kind of commotion going on the door. Quickly, we must. <laughs> Quick, Frumple, to the orangery. Miss Gil. Miss Gilfrey, what is it? Whatever is the matter? Oh, Lord Wicklebottom, it, it, it was terrible. A simply frightful thing. I say, steady on. What are you talking about? Out there, Dr. Frumple. Out in the dark. It, it was. A creature! A, a thing! I've never seen such a ghastly sight! Are you sure, Miss Gilfrey? Could it perhaps have been Mr. Walters returning to his boat? It wasn't a person, Lord Winklebottom. It wasn't an animal at all. It, it was wet and hairless and... Oh, God, that face! I shall never forget it. Wet and hairless? Thank goodness you're here. He just burst in, soaking wet and ranting and raving about a monster. Gah! A foul, fearsome beast! Away! I thought we were done with Salty. You. Poor fellow, it looks in a bad way. Rumple? Chap seems delusional. We should get him into bed for some rest. Came at me out the trees! A malign monster! Ah! Tis after me! Tis after me! Looks like he needs a good rest. They can use one of the beds in the servant's quarters. I'm sure Ambrose won't object. Right then, Frumple, let's help get him into bed. As long as I don't have to get too close, he smells like a blessed brewery. Come on then, old chap. Right, we got the fellow settled. Should be right to rain soon. As long as the bar guest doesn't come for him. I say what? Oh, never mind me, sir. Just a silly fancy. Did you say bar guest? Like the name of this island? It's daft, really, I suppose, but... The bar guest is a ferocious monster sent to roam the island at night. It's a really hard nice. monster. So anybody who sees it will surely die soon after. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty disagreeable chap, what? As a poppycock, mind you. Well, one last thing, sirs, if it pleases you. In all the commotion, Madame Lavinia has misplaced her crystal ball. Says it's been stolen. Would you believe it? Dash careless of her. I've promised to keep an eye out for anything suspicious out here, but maybe you could go and talk to her. Very well, we shall see what the problem is. And the crystal ball's been taken. What oh, what do you think of the MC? lady sat over there? Oh, I can't get a word out of her. The old bat needs some sort of hearing aid, if you ask me. These modern hearing aids are a miracle of science. Some are badly larger than a briefcase, you know. Mm. I say, what's ball. happened to your crystal ball? Oh, it's that criminal sat in her chair over there. She's acting like she's oblivious, but look at her bill. She's clearly stolen it. Well, that's really not on. I even tried mentioning the Scottish play to shock it out of her, but she's deaf as a post. The Scottish play? The Shakespeare play. Macbeth. Actors are terrified. <laughs> Shakespeare. Shakespeare will Macbeth. come and eat them if it's even mentioned, or, or something like that. My goodness. Thank you oh. for your time. Madam, perhaps crystal you can return ball. the good lady's crystal ball. What's that? Music hall? Ah, oh, you must be a fan. Sorry, darling. I don't do requests. Daft old bird. Uh, Macbeth. Macbeth. The cheek. I do not have bad 
Macbeth. Well, that works about as well. Macbeth. Macbeth. Well, that works about as. Thank you for your. What's that? Ugh. Okay, is there anything I can use on her? Believes he saw a creature. Well, it's a famous actress. Um, I give her the butter lump. Uh, okay, well. Any ideas, old thing? I'd like to see what's inside that hatch in the kitchen. We must be able to get it to stay open somehow. Well, I tried. Let's check. I shall use. The butter. No, I shall use the knife. I can't get this into the gap to wedge open the door. Oh, so it actually is a knife or something of the sort. Oh, maybe another coat hanger. Can I get another coat hanger? No. Pan? Nope. Anything in here I can use? A record collection. Oh look, they have Sam's of the Sea, featuring Barry Uncle Flange and the Crustaceans. I love their music. Hmm, I think I'll stick to the classics. Wedding ah, photograph. This is Gilfrey and Ethelbert on their wedding day. A splendid time was had by all, I can assure you, Frumple. Such a tragedy, Ethelbert had passed away so young. Yes, terrible business. Just terrible. Oh, yes, quite. <sighs> Goodbye. Yeah, there's no talking to her. Check him in on thingy in the servants' quarters. Mr. Walters? Yeah. Is he drunk again? Ah, a, a fellow! I think he might be tree. Fellow's gone crackers if you. I should never have shot that albatross. Seems like he's delusional. Yeah, my man's not doing too good, is he? I need something to wedge into the. You sure you don't want to take a break? You should get some. I would like to get some rest. That commotion earlier is that. Okay, so I need to get the crystal ball for that. Maybe there's something in the Madison cabinet. No. Science hmm. I'm really bedrooms. not going to check all those bedrooms again. Okay, so that's just get that out of your head. We'll never go in there. No point trying again. Yeah, no, no, I wasn't sure either. Go. Maybe. Ugh. Butler? Hello? It's back to the kitchen.
So you're yeah, how do you feel about comp? Oh, I'm a changed. You didn't get on with the act. It was oh, we've already talked all this. Too many parties. Most informed. I get to keep the time. I'm. Thank you for your time. Yes, there's nothing he can tell us. Dame Seagull is haberdashery back. Knitting, so. If I get a knitting needle. I'm just trying anything and everything. Oh, I open the window. I'm not going to open these. It'll let it. I mean, that's the point. It'll startle her. I think. Oh, I'm going to mess around with the clock. clock. I can use the knife to get the clock hand off. No, really? Hmm. Yeah, you can not know what to say. And you're useless. A bowl of fruit. You know. Well, doesn't seem to have worked. Hold on. Perhaps uh, I no. chop the fruit. Oh. This door appears to be yes, locked. Quite, Just open. The oh, plastic thing won't stay open. Okay, so I can open it. But I. Why the knife? I can't get this into the gap to wedge open the door. I need something small. Interesting. Perhaps I can fill the saucepan uh, no. with coals. No. Right then, let's. I say, Frumple, do you know? Not a clue. Well, I can't even make tea. Oh, it's the cupboards. Oh, there are some matches in this box. I didn't even... Didn't even think to click on these. Nothing of interest. Just some odds and ends. Just some crumb dishes. Well, I can use the match. Need a steady to do this as there's only one. There we go, the cooker is. At least we know we can make more. Oh, that's a relief, I feel. Alright, now. I... This seems nice and hot now, but I'm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm about to do with it. <laughs> yeah, put the pan on the cooker. Let's put the pan on the. Melt the butter. How thrilling. I've always wanted to try my hoof at cooking. Ah, look, Frumple, the heat has melted the butter. I can hardly pick this up with my bare hooves. We'll need something to soak. Well, what about your mane? That's probably a. That's a disgusting thought, Frumple. Yeah, I need something to soak it up. Uh, no. I don't suppose he's gonna let me use that towel, neither. Didn't mean to go into the hallway, but, you know. Oh well. Let's see if I can get the towel from the bathroom. This might prove you. Absolutely not. Asshole. Look at this, silly bed. You know, between this. Okay, just back to the kitchen. Anything in here? No. Back to the hallway. Um, 
dining room, I suppose. Yeah, no, there's something here I can do. Don't see you just have a Oh, the axe. Long metal axe. I say, Winklebottom, I bet Gilfrey liked this axe a lot. Or uh. because he's an axe a <laughs> Yes. Ah, funny. Hilarious. A collection of books. Nothing. I don't read. something to soak up the hot butter for reasons I don't fully understand. Any ideas? I'd like to see what's inside that hatch in the kitchen. Okay, yeah. That's all you're going to tell me. Servants' quarters. Oh, I'm going to use the toy to soak it up. Bit of an old thing to keep. No. Maybe something outside. Well, oh, it's still raining. Well, like he's gonna, yeah. Oh well then. Oh yes, you just. He wants nothing to do with us. There must be something. This is the the most bad. I'm not sure it's quite at the top. Let's take You must be flummoxed if you think we're gonna be in this blasted place. Aha, I can use the ladder opener. door open one hoof and try to yes I think that's gonna keep the door open it's open now so I should be able to... right with this door held open I can well that was a tight squeeze I can't bags of salt looks like there are some bags over yonder so he was poisoned. This is a bottle of lye. This system must feed water into the rest of the house. The taps, Gilfrey's pipe network, the orangery and so on. He's been poisoned. With salt and cleaning supplies. This switch seems to be connected to the pump system. Hit it with your tongue. Alas, I cannot reach the switch from this undignified position. We'll meet here. So that must this lead into there. Must lead down to that cell. Yeah. Yeah, no, now it's your big idea. We need to see if we can help out Madame Lavinia. Uh, a crystal ball. ball. Oh, it's that criminal sat in her chair over there. She's acting like she's oblivious, but look at her bill. Uh -huh. She's clearly uh -huh. stolen. Whoa, it. holy oh, shit! Ball. It's that rat with the red. I tried the Scottish play to shock it out Welcome of her. In, folks. She's deaf as a post. How y'all doing tonight? The Shakespeare play. With death, actors are terrified of it. Think Shakespeare will come and eat them if it's even mentioned. Some smite. Or Love it. Like Love it. Power of the games. Some wins, some losses, some pain. <laughs> I imagine. But yeah, how's it going, Ratch? And Raiders, welcome, welcome on in. I'm Commander Xander, the console bind superhero wannabe PNGV streamer. And we're doing a. We're doing a weird murder mystery point and click with anthropomorphized animals. <laughs> Thank you for your time. 
Okay, how do I get her to... No, I don't think... Threaten with a knife. No. Pretty good, finished up Cult of the Lamb. Had a quick smite round to wrap it up. Nice! Nice, nice, love it. Thank you for... What's that? Didn't mean to say farewell. I uh, actually just recently picked up Cult of the Lamb because it was on sale, so I might throw that into the rotation at some point. Absolutely toxic build. Fanier with Glad Shield, Sphinx Bobble, Max Cooldown. I'm gonna puke. Make death. The cheek. I'm gonna puke. Madam, perhaps you could. What's that? Daffle. Greetings. What's that? I said. No. We're not gonna get very far. I'm so glad. Oh, thank you. Greetings, madam. What's I don't know that? How to get... I said. No. We're not going to get very far here, Winklebottom. She so has the crystal ball on her mind, no but just pretend you don't that. know okay. nothing. Greetings, madam. What's that, young And I, I keep hitting the no, same buttons. We're not going to get very far. I'm so glad to have you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your time, madam. <laughs> having fun, that? but can't say much for the oh, enemy team. You know, head. as long as you're having fun, that's all that really matters, isn't it? Um. Anything with fireplace, maybe? New. But yeah, we're uh we're here for a murder mystery because uh, uh portrait of the great fellow himself. Distinguished looking chap, eh, hey, Wingle. The uh the admiral, who's an axolotl, is dead. And we can't we can't get him out of the pipes until we sort out the plumbing, so he's just This tube He's just here. Pipes guilty used to get around the house. Being amphibious, he preferred to stay in these as much as possible. Ingenious system, mind you. Um, can I take the records and play them on the gramophone? One of those newfangled gramophone modern technology. A small empty bottle. A collection of gramophone records. Oh look, they have Sands of the Sea featuring variable flange and the crustaceans. I love their music. Hmm, I think I'll stick to the classics. <laughs> Big oof. Love the artwork. Yeah, it's uh... I believe this was crowdfunded. Like it's a... It's very much an indie uh... Labour of love. Yeah, Goodbye, she's got nothing else to say to us. Uh, if I ask Frumple for his opinion, he's probably just going to tell me to oh, sort out the crystal ball to stuff again. We go talk to her. I, th I mean, I did. And she's like, bitch has my crystal ball. To help. But I'll, I'll go talk to her again. What can you tell us about the lady sat over there? Oh, I can't get a word out of her. These modern hearing aids are a miracle of science. What can you tell us? Yeah, what did he oh, say? These modern hearing aids are a miracle of science. Oh. What can you tell me about? Gilfrey? I thought he said he had one in his briefcase. Quite so, very. What's your connection to Gilfrey? I've known Ethelberta since she was a duckling. I've no idea why darling Aristotle invited me today, though. None at all. <laughs> He's called Admiral Aristotle, the axolotl. I say, what's crystal oh, ball? Yeah. Sat in her chair over there. I can believe this, well, but look at her bill. She's clearly I still tried on it. mentioning the Scottish play. The Scottish? The Shakespeare play. With death, actors are terrified of it. I mean, Thank you for your I, time. I, I'm convinced, right? If I, if I was to open the window behind her, that would certainly startle her. Can I pry it with a knife? This seems unlike Large double windows looking at always under the jolliest view. I'm not gonna open these, it'll No, you're not even gonna let me do that. The clock. There's something with this Madison bottle, but I don't know what. A long round black go sticking your head in there again, wouldn't we? Oh, so there's a look. Kraken symbols carved into the back of the seats. Interesting. Ooh, you have got an idea. Fire away, wretch. Uh, any, uh... 
any ideas would be helpful. Also, I need something to soak up a pan of hot butter, but it can't be a towel from the bathroom because Dr. Frumple won't let us because it's unhygienic. Yeah, there's nothing here. Fire still on. Use the gramophone as a hearing horn. Let's see. Gramophone trumpet. I can't remove this trumpet. It's held in place with a small screw. Well then. This is too big to remove the small screw. Damn it! What if I go and get the um, thingy back? The ladder opener. Can I get the ladder opener back? It's open now, so I should be. What if I use the knife to get the ladder opener back? I've already watched this. No. Damn it. Yeah, no, it, it's definitely viable. I just need to find a way to unscrew it. If I only. If I had a. If I still had the ladder opener. Just a moment. Yeah, I think I already checked these. Can't check the, the drawers. But very, very clever idea. I like it. Let's see, servants' quarters, anything. I can't even use these brushes as a comb or anything. Salty's at cold. Uh, I'll check the bathroom again. Can I? Nope. Part of Gilfrey's pipe network. This one must have allowed him to easily get into the bath. Looks like great fun. Would be better with a mud pit at the end of it, though. Yeah. Uh, if I try to this take the towel. Absolutely not. Why, if you take that, people won't be able to wash their hooves after their ablutions. Absolutely filthy. No. He just, he puts his hoof down, you see. And won't let me go this way, so. Um, I guess we'll try the right corridor. Uh, I bet this is still locked. Why do people? I rather imagine Gilf. Well, yes, I. What if I try to pick this lock with a knife? Uh, no. Okay then. Anything? I mean, there's a pen there. This is the most upsetting thing that's happened all day. I'm not sure it's quite at the top of my list, Rumpel. Coins, maybe? I think leave these be. Not really cricket to go around stealing from a dead chap. I mean, you've done nothing but walk around picking up things. Uh, do you have anything new to say? No. Thank you, miss. Oh, wait, no. Did she tell me about the garden or was it someone else? Actually, she, you mentioned she, the garden. she didn't know. Me. He's always kind of... Oh, no, she did. You know, but he seemed perfectly livid last time I saw him. I thought he was being given the sack, I think. Some... Yeah, well, he, the Thank gardener you. won't talk to me. Now oh, what about Spood? Yeah, no. Speak more. He's got nothing to say. Yeah, if you need me. So I need something to unscrew... The gramophone horn. Does the maid know? Perhaps no. you should get some rest, dear lady. I would like to get some rest. That commotion earlier has left me in all sixes. Okay, so if I get the the ball. Can I take these wires back? No. If I get the ball, she goes away, then I can get the, the moose tie. I'm not sure what the moose tie is for. But I need it. Okay, what do we know? What do we know? Let's 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 review. Let's go back to page one and review. <laughs> the whole struggle point and clicks. You need one thing to do everything else. Yep. 
see a mysterious invitation, lives on an island, finds dead in his pipe. The butler, who we haven't seen at all, but he's a sloth. Uh, his daughter, Reverend Archibald Peabody, an old friend of Guilfrey, a sea line of cloth. Uh, she's a maid, worked with him for some time. Salty, took us to the island. Heavy drinker, hates the taste of salt and thinks he saw a creature. Um, Dr. Vivian Price, worked as a researcher, lives on the island. Pumphrey, the slug, seems angry at the late Guilfrey. A medium, new Ethelberta, well. Sir Winslet is estranged from his family. Ulysses Spode, solicitor for Spode, Spode, and Flabernacle. Was in charge of Gilfrey's affairs. And Dame Cecilia Wellington, but apparently a famous actress. That's all it gives me. Another fine piece of artwork from Gilfrey's collection. Is that all you gotta say? What about Another this one? Another fine piece of artwork. They're literally the same thing. Okay, cool. Um. Go. <sighs> Suppose like she said, if I ring the gong, the butler will appear. But we haven't seen no butler. Okay, hold on. What if I just try this again? Sorry about this, sir, but I'm afraid we have need of your tie. Milo, whatever. Oh, uh, frightfully sorry, man. Can't do this while the old goat is hanging around. What? You may need. Yeah, so I, I do need her to go. There's something... Yeah, this gramophone trumpet. Now, let's have a look this? over. Oh, just some papers. Just papers. Not inherently so, but in this case, yes. They don't seem to be of any great interest. Although it does seem odd that they're in such a mess. It's almost as if somebody had been rummaging through them in a hurry. Best way, in my opinion, gets it out of the way. How much One would hope that you would at least glance at them. Yeah, okay. Ooh, maybe... Maybe I can uh, no. break one of these? No? What about these books? Various works of fiction. These are most likely Ethelberta's. Aristotle preferred his scientific tones instead. Oh, Shakespeare. The master's made us read it at school, told it old Ross. Don't mind the one with the two lovers from rival families of mongooses and capybaras, though. I say, Frumble, there's a copy of the play Madame Lavinia mentioned here. Macbeth. Oh! Oh. Well, no. Wait, hold on, did I get to take the play with me? Ah, uh, look at him here. The prime take a little nap, good luck with the mystery. No worries at all, Reg. Again, super days. duper appreciate you popping in, reading, hanging out, all that lovely stuff. It's very, very appreciated. Do, uh, do go get a little rest. Do all that post-stream detox, as it were. Water, food, sleep. <laughs> Macbeth. Well, that works about as well. Thank you for your What's that? <sighs> There's nothing outside. Did I learn anything else? I don't think I did. Uh, it's, there's, uh, yeah, it's definitely this. You know, this oh, can might I take just the book? As long as you don't force me. Okay, now we have the book. Maybe if I show her the book. I say, madam, I have a play here that might interest you. The Scottish play! Oh, get away from me! Away! <gasps> oh, well. Hey, we got the crystal ball. Thank 
you so much for getting my crystal ball back. I will let Beryl know that she needn't stand guard any longer. Don't mention it, madam. Yeah, um, got anything else to say? Thank you for your time. No. But if Beryl's gone now, she isn't. I guess I gotta tell her. Perhaps you should go get, get rest. rest. I am feeling quite tired after all the commotion. And now I can cut the moose tie. Sorry about this, sir, but I'm afraid we have need of your tie. And now with the tie, but can I use the tie to grab the pot? I suppose this fabric will soak up the grease. Ah oh, yes, we uh -huh. have a greasy tie. How splendid. You do do the strangest thing. What do I need a greasy tie for? Any ideas, old Opinion? Thing? We need to flush out the system. Need to turn that wheel up in the old boy's study. Right. And how do I do that? With my greasy tie? Let's give this a turn and see if we can't... Wait, we can't do this while the water pumps are turned on. Oh, I know what the tie's for. Back to the kitchen. The kitchen and the dumbwaiter. Right, with this door held open, I can... Uh, no. No. How am I supposed to... This switch seems to be connected to the pump system. Yeah. I definitely can't head from here with that long ass alien tongue of Alas, yours, no. I cannot reach the switch from this undig. Back to the kitchen. I really rather. This seems unlikely. How do you get through this here? Must be down to that cellar, just. Okay, then how do I get it open? There was a key imprint outside. But to what end? Uh, no. Uh, no. no, I don't think. Curious. I have a greasy tie now, but for what? I say, madam, are you feeling more rested now? I'm feeling somewhat better now. But, but, but why the greasy tie? And this is... Clearly this is for something. That's a puzzle box that I don't have any clues to just yet. With a the cactus. cactus covered in. I'm keeping well away. Got a dreadful phobia. Doesn't that rather interfere with your work as a doctor? Not at all. I just close my eyes when I use them. That's all. It's very common fear, you know. Most of the patients scream when they see me with one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd scream too if my doctor had was deliberately blinding himself as he was using needles. I really am awfully embarrassed about this, you know. What is the greasy tie about? I'm really not sure. Okay, Sir Winslet. Thoughts? Thank you for your nope. time. No new thoughts. Dame Seagull is haberdashery. Uh, 
Okay, there's nothing else to talk to her about. I believe these are used to see into the future. Rather a pity. No, old boy. Oh, then we. What if I use the greasy tie? I'd really rather and a crystal ball. Oh. What about the vase? I, I, fireplace. I don't know I what you want from me. Greasy tie on a oh, clock. No. I don't believe there's anything else in here. And it's like, I need to... I need to pull... I need to turn this valve. But before I do the valve... I have to get into the basement. Oh, I can search the drawers. Let's take one of these off. Oh, look. This is a map. Oh my god, a map. Tap, it's not letting me use the map. Nothing else new. I don't know what the envelope... Or the island map. There's a bud. Yeah, it's back to the drawing room and can I use any of this? I'm really not sure what the would appear new. Um kitchen. Anything new? It's just the fruit. I can end, I can look at the fruit, but it, I just look at it, or is there a way to? I'd really want... nah, I don't know what the plan is. Empty, greasy pan. There's still a bit of butter left in this pan. Maybe I could find some bread somewhere to mob it up. Sometimes you really are quite repugnant, Rumpel. Yeah, there's nothing else in there. The door appears to be locked, most irritating. Must be down to that celly. And if I talk to you, you're just like, do the thing. And I'm like, what thing? You're just the thing. But I can't. Maybe he no, wants them up. No. Oh well then. Oh yes, you just. Maybe I ask her. The track is the map. Nope. Mm, salty, I believe, still cold. Uh, vast and away with you. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, Is he drunk again? Uh, uh, a foul beast more terrible than the Kraken. Uh, be gone. Uh, uh, be gone. I think he might be dreaming. Fellas gone crackers, if you ask me. I should never have shot the albatross. Cursed I be. But he knocked over me pipe. Seems like he's delusional, or at least I hope he is. Nothing. 
What if I get some of this? Even with this bottle, I really don't want to carry this stuff around. No? Okay, but well, how do I find out about it? Maybe in the study. Is there books on the plants somewhere? Reference books. We could spend days looking through these books. This appears to be a large plants and whatnot. Not dull. Biology isn't. Okay. We could spend days looking through these books. I am beyond confused. Maybe I'll check the basement again. Right with this door. I take this with me. This is a dangerous alkali. I'm not about to grab it with my teeth unless I have a genuine. This system must feed water into the rest of the house. The so I can't even take the alkali. The and so on. Yet. Hmm. Try the plant again. I have no idea what this happens. I'm certainly not going to. This picture plant is full of nasty. Look. What did you call me? Can I, can I fill this with sap? Even with this bottle, I really don't want to carry this stuff around without knowing more about it. Okay. Well then, can I, can I search? it up in the reference books. Is that feasible? I wonder if I can find any information about that plant. Holy so shit, I can. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. What does it say? Apparently, that sticky fluid in the plant is a kind of resin. Mix it with a strong alkali and apply a heat source and it'll set hard as a rock. Maybe we could use that for something if we can get hold of a heat source. Okay, I think I know. I think I know. I think we can... We can get a key. We can make a key using the imprint. Outside. And I'm assuming that's the key that leads to downstairs. Okay, we have we have our, our, our sap. Now I just need the alkali. Right, this. Oh, Lord Winkle Bottom. This is a dangerous substance. I don't especially want to. Okay, now that I have this. N I what? <laughs> I guess to the, the key imprint and sap. Let's pull this sap into the imprint of the key. Yes, that's fine. Okay, nice. okay. A key shaped hole. We do live a string. Uh, does the alkali work on it? Let's put this alkali into the sun. Yeah, let me do it. This needs the steady hoof of a surgeon. Oh. Oh dear. Liquid filled key press. There's a mixture of sap and alkali in this hole now. Shame, it's so bloody freezing. Uh, would you know how to heat this? Heat source. I wonder if you could help procure me some kind of portable heat source. 
Chocolate cured a heat sauce? Look, Moss, if you want to borrow a lamp, just bloody well say so, why don't you? Well, it's not too much trouble. Oh, no, that's just fine and dandy. I tell you what, you wait during the shelter while I go off in the middle of a bloody storm to find you a lamp. Wouldn't want you to go to any bother, like. Most gracious of you, I'm sure. Well, here you are, then. Do be careful not to burn your bloody hooves on it, will you? I'm off inside, now that I've battened down the hatches out here. Don't feel you have to fall on me, like. Never did like invertebrates. I go to the island? It's no good, we won't get anywhere. Oh, he gave me his lamp. How did I light it? The coals in the kitchen. I'll just touch the wick to the flame and here we are. Let me try and apply heat on this lamp to the resin mixture and let's see what happens. Oh, can't see anything happening. How boring. Give it time, Grumble. Can we go now? I'm so bored waiting for this. You know, Grumble, I rather think we can. Look, the resin is set solid, just like the book said. Oh, yes. No, never doubted it for a moment. Looks like we now have a copy of the key that was dropped here. Now to find what is the key to. I mean, it's got to be the key to one of the two locked doors. And soon everything's pointing to this way, it's gotta be the side door. Maybe this key we made will fit the lock on the cellar door. By Jove, it works. Well done, Winklebottom. Holy oh, shit, it actually was the right key. Off in the lock. If I it wasn't this, it was the attic. Strong enough. Still got the door open anyway. I can flip the switch. And go turn the valve. Let's give this a turn and see if we can't. There's no use. It's bound to be some oil or grease. Oh, well, funny enough. We have a greasy tie. Right then, I'll wipe this liquid butter around the valve using the tie we cut off a dead moose's mounted head. There is literally no simpler way we could have done this. I think I might dispose of this now. <laughs> Let's give this a turn and see if we can't... The lubrication has helped, but I still can't turn... Leverage. Don't suppose there's anything in here. When I died the drawing room. Any of these? A sporting trophy won by Gilf. What if he's sporting? A relic of the great. I say that axe he's carrying would do you a real miss. Oh, the axe! I take the axe. Sorry, my friend. I'm rather afraid. There's just nothing you won't half inch given the chance. wasn't enough, but maybe this will help us get some leverage on it. Since there's no way to contact the mainland, we should flush out the body and perform an autopsy ourselves. Are you sure you know what you're doing? The Guilfrey estate will not be held liable for any damage or injury caused by incorrect operation of that device. Oh, hang it all, what's the worst that can happen? The salt in the water! It's killed him! He's flushed under the bath. 
Oh, but there was salt in the water, and oh my god, it's it's killed the slug. The game is up. Damn. Well, that was a most eventful night. Quite so, old boy. Hopefully our call got through to the police on the mainland, though I don't hold out much hope in that regard. Our first priority should be the autopsy. I'll need to go and have a look at the body. Good lord, what was that? It sounded like a game from the drawing room. We must investigate. It's that they find the, the dead slug man. Well, we're gonna... We're gonna save right here and call it a night. <laughs> Um, be back tomorrow with, uh, I believe Pathfinder Kingmaker, and we might pick this up again later in the week, because I'm having fun with it. It's very weird, very quirky. Or we might just wait and do it next week, uh, but it's, it's definitely, I'm definitely having fun with it. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. But, uh, yeah, just want to throw out a little love, because if you popped in with Ratch and the Raiders earlier, you're more than welcome. It's super duper appreciated. Everybody who stopped by and spends any amount of time of their day with me here on the channel means a lot. Again, as well, if you're lurking after the fact, creeping around in the VOD. Hello, hello. Uh, don't forget follow on Twitter if you haven't or join the discord if that's your thing to keep up to date with stream stuff that is not how you spell discord that is and we're gonna read it so do stick around for that you get some channel points for doing so and I shall catch y'all in the next one